Hello friends, I am Shanti Pise from ISER Pune. In this video, we are going to share our experience of teaching a very interesting but often confusing topic in mathematics, linear equation in one variable. This lesson plan was developed in collaboration with Gaurav Siddharth from Ahilya Devi Holkar School, Pune. This lesson plan was developed with an aim to introduce the concept of equality and inequality. Then we explore how to find out the unknown in a given situation. Additionally, students were also able to form their own equations to grab students' attention and to ease out with the topic, we gave a very interesting activity in the form of puzzle. Yes, we gave them a pictorial puzzle to solve in the class and the challenge was they have to solve this puzzle in just 5 minutes. Students were engrossed in solving the puzzle. Here, I pointed out the operator symbol and the equality symbol. Together, we solved the puzzle and the students' enthusiasm could be seen in the spark of their eyes. Then, I told them that we are going to learn more about such puzzle in this lesson. However, before we begin for linear equations, we concentrated on the concept of equality and inequality. We used a weighing balance analogy. We added two weights of 500 grams each on one side and one weight of 1 kilogram on the other side. As the weighing balance achieves equilibrium, I told them about the equality. I also showed them the symbolic representation of equality that is equal to sign. I then removed one of the 500 grams weight from one side and highlighted the fact that one side is heavier than the other side. The total weight on either side were also different. This was to demonstrate the concept of inequality. The students were also shown the greater than and the less than symbol used to denote the concept of inequality. This weighing balance analogy also helped the student to get the idea of left hand side and right hand side in the equation. To discuss this concept further, you can also ask some questions like, what happens when you put some things or weights on one side of the weighing balance? How can we make it balance? What can we call this setup in mathematical terms? What will happen if we have more things on one side and less things on another side? I also ask students to give some daily life examples of equality and inequality in class. How a 2 kg weight is not equal to 1 kg of salt or how 1 kg of wheat is equal to 1 kg of rice. Then we performed an activity to show how to solve a linear equation where the value of one quantity is unknown. Before starting this activity, we discussed about the equilibrium state in weighing balance and took this analogy to explain the linear equation in one variable. For this activity, we need weights of 100 grams each. Students created these with the help of some nuts and a bag and made it more durable with a sticky tape. You can also use grains, pebbles or sand as weights. We have an unknown weight X and we have packets of 100 grams each. I added one packet of 100 grams on left hand side. We also added the unknown weight on the left hand side and four packets of 100 grams on the right hand side of the pan. Since the weight of the last packet was unknown, I told my student to label it as X. I further explained to them that in order to find out the value of unknown, that is X, we should have 
the unknown weight on one side and all the known weight on the other side of the pan. At this point, it is important to share the rule with the students. Whichever operation they are performing on one side of the pan, they have to perform the same on the other side. With that rule explained, students were able to find out the weight of the unknown packet simply by removing the 100 grams weight from each side of the pan. I represented this demonstration into an equation on the board. Students appreciated the relationship between the weighing balance and the equation. Further, I asked few questions like, what can we call such an equation? How can we mathematically solve the equation? What rule do we need to follow while solving the linear equation? After this activity, we discussed some more examples just like finding the unknown value and converting it into the form of equations. You can also ask your student to note down few equations in the notebooks. To end this topic, on an interesting note, I asked my student to solve a mystery which they called as mystery of my age. Students noted down their ages in relation with their family members and were very excited to convert this into a form of equation. Similarly, you can also try to create some puzzles and make learning more interesting. Activity-based learning actually helped my students to understand the complexities of linear equation in one variable in a very interesting manner. The students were able to solve puzzles and do practical examples which made their learning really fun. You can also try these activities in your classroom and give your student this gift of hands-on learning. The link to the detailed lesson plan is given in the description box below. Do share your feedback with us. Thank you so much for watching.